Heard a wise person say, adversity is preparation for greatness. See, it's your reaction to adversity, not the adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. Adversity is opportunity because that adversity pushes you past your limits. That adversity tests your heart. That adversity tests your will and gives you the opportunity to build character, gives you the opportunity to build strength, gives you the opportunity to tap into the inner greatness that's inherently yours. Adversity will push you to become what you never thought you could become. Adversity will push you to be what you never thought you could be. You gotta mess it up to get it right. You gotta go through something to get to something because that adversity separates the real ones from the fake. That adversity separates those that really want it from those that really don't. That adversity separates those that are about it from those who simply say forget about it when it gets too tough, when it gets so hot in the kitchen they gotta get up out of there. But the real ones, the real ones expect that heat. They want that fire. As a matter of fact, they live their life on fire, full of passion and desire, and they won't stop until they expire. Because they know when they start a project, there will be a setback. There will be turmoil, there will be drama, there will be adversity, there will be failure. But I guarantee you anybody that became somebody that achieved next level greatness, they have some stories they can tell you about where they started, what they had to go through to get to where they are today. See, Sean Anker said, the most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. What do you see adversity as? An opportunity to quit? An opportunity to give up? An opportunity to stop? An opportunity to freeze? An opportunity to not believe in yourself? No, from this day forward, when you start something, you finish it. When you start something, you expect the failures, you expect the setbacks. As a matter of fact, you look forward to them. I know when I get started, I'm like, where's the adversity at? Where's the drama at? Where's it coming from? I got my dukes up. I'm like a boxer. I'm ready to stick and move. I'm ready to knock out adversity. Because that's the only way for me to climb the ladder and arrive at my desired destination of next level greatness. That's the only way for me to climb the ladder and reach the high plateau. That's the only way for me to go where others won't go because I'm doing what others won't do. I'm pushing through what others won't push through. And that's the exact mindset you have to have. I need you to understand this. Life will put a foot up in your situation and it don't care about your status or your occupation. Roy T. Bennett said, your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. So keep going through tough situations because those tough situations build strong people in the end. And you, my friend, are stronger than you know. You've been knocked down before. You didn't let it break you. You picked yourself back up. You know the motto. If you get knocked down 3,121 times, you get back up 3,122. Adversity is an opportunity for you to achieve what you never thought you could achieve. But I'm telling you right now to your face, you can do it. You can overcome any hump. You can overcome any hurdle. You can overcome any obstacle. Because if you're still breathing, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. So what you waiting for? So what you got hitting at y'all by life? Pick yourself back up and fight back. Because the day will come when you get to look back on everything that you've been through, that everything you had to overcome, and you get to pat yourself on the back and say, job well done. I've been there. My mom died when I was four years old. I grew up with a mentally abusive stepmom. I was shy, I was introverted, I got bullied. But I didn't let that stop me. I found a way to tap into my inner greatness. And I implore you to find a way to tap into yours. Because it's there. Everything you need to succeed is already inside. C.S. Lewis said, Hardships often prepare ordinary people 
for an extraordinary destiny. You just got to have thick skin. You just got to have an iron jaw. You just got to be able to take a punch. Because I promise you, no matter who you are, no matter what you have, life is coming. See, each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of built-in problems. But what you don't understand is, when you decide to be about something, when you decide to make something happen, when you decide that you want to go to another level in life, that's when all of the drama, all of the devils, everything is going to be working to try to get you to stop. Because they want to know how bad you really want it. They want to know if you really want it bad enough to go through everything that they're going to throw at you. They're going to throw the kitchen sink at you. They're going to throw anything that they can think of at you to try to get you to stop, to try to get you to quit. Why do you think they call it the 1% Club? Because basically only 1% of people can overcome everything they need to go to that next level of greatness. You are in the 1% Club. I'm claiming it for you. Because the resilient mindset turns every loss into a learn and has the patience to persevere and wait for its winning turn. Yes, it will sting. Yes, it will burn. But when you overcome, you will earn the right to call yourself a legend. You will leave a legacy because you fall through what many won't. You fall through what many don't. You fall through what many can't. You fall through what many refuse to. But you refuse to lose. You refuse to quit. You refuse to give up. You refuse to give in. And that's why in the end, you find yourself winning at your game of life. It's simple. I want you to set your internal GPS to the destination of next level greatness and start driving. They're going to tell you to make a right on Setback Boulevard. Please, keep driving. Then she's going to say make a left on Adversity Lane. You got to keep driving. Because she's going to say in 10 miles, make a right on Drama Street. But you got to keep driving. Because if you stop, you'll have to start all over. And you've already went through so much. So please keep driving. If you want to learn more about what championship DNA is, research the history of any team that won a championship. And you'll find that first they had to find a way to make it to the playoffs. And most times they lose in the first round, but they don't quit. They come back the next year and they might lose in the first round again, but they come back the next year and they make it to the second round. Come back the next year and they make it to the semifinals. They might lose in the semifinals, but they come back that next year and they finally raise the banner. Those teams that stuck together, I guarantee you, they will tell you how much adversity, how much they had to overcome. But when they finally won that championship and got to hoist that banner, Woo! The feeling of euphoria, the feeling of joy, the feeling of self-pride. If you ask them, would they do it any other way? They will tell you no, because they might say we could have took the easy route. <laughs> but I'm telling you, there is no easy route. See, the resilient mindset knows that greatness can only be developed in situations that are less than convenient. So if you, my friend, want to dominate and find the day that you're kicking your feet up and living in inconvenience, you got to go through what you got to go through to get to what you're trying to get to. There are no shortcuts. There is no easy streets. You have to put in the work, go through the blood, sweat, and tears to arrive at your desired outcome of next level greatness. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But you are winning because you chose not to give up. You chose not to give in. You chose to give all. Because that's exactly what champions do. Losers give up, but champions give all. They understand that the adversity is just an opportunity for them to climb over an obstacle and achieve their desired outcome. Because the mindset of success 
puts in the work even when it doesn't feel like it because it knows the spark is there and it just has to ignite it. You have a fire burning in you to do things that others simply won't do. And you understand that that will require you to let the setbacks inspire you to keep going when everybody else would have quit. See, the resilient mindset powers through the turmoil and tragedy. It revises, regroups, and executes a new winning strategy. You, my friend, have a resilient mindset and you won't quit until you arrive at your desired destination of next level greatness. This is a great day. <laughs>